What's up everybody on YouTube? It's me, Larry the Batman fan. I'm back with another video. Rocking my new shirt. Yeah, which you'll probably see me in a couple of videos. I got this with some of my birthday money. I'm rocking the Ninja Turtle shirt. I like these graphic t-shirts. Pretty cool. Got one in my size at Walmart. Anyways, we're not really here to talk about that. Obviously, we're here to talk about the top 20 greatest rappers of all time. And yes, I know I'm a Christian. I don't really listen to um, secular rap like I used to. Because I understand that it really doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't really help. If anything, it really makes you more depressed. Listening to songs about depress depressive situations. Depressing situations, I meant. And, you know, songs about suicide and things like that, they don't really help you at all. They really don't. So, you know, more positivity. But for this list, I'm going to do it. Because uh, I'm hoping that Anthony Chobot, who does pop culture, will finally respond to one of these videos that I do. Because uh, he seems to do a lot of top... 10s top 15s as well check out his youtube channel here folks because he seems like a pretty cool dude um but honestly you know even though he has like eight eight hundred and ninety subs or something it just seems like he's trying to make his name known all over youtube and seems like he's a nobody to a lot of people it's kind of like me we're just grateful for those that are actually watching our videos <clears throat> but all in all, seems like a pretty cool guy. So I had to mention him here. At least once more. So anyways, my top 20 uh, rappers of all time. It's a no-brainer. Tupac's number one. Most influential. Very essential. Great lyrics. Uh, great storytelling. Flow is, you know, remarkable. Everything about Tupac was great. It's a shame that he's dead. Number two is Notorious B.I.G. Again, great storytelling. Good flow. Good lyrics. The women that he had singing for a couple of songs. You know, Biggie, give me one more chance. Great song, you know. Very, um, legendary. You know, had a lot of good songs. Big Papa. I shot ya, or who shot ya rather, and that song Sky's the Limit, you know, lots of great songs by him, Warning, um, I think that's the name of the song, Warning, great um, lyricist, number three is Nas, Nas is a great lyricist as well, lots of great songs by Nas, good flow, good storytelling, um, Songs I think are worthwhile by Nas, uh, I Can, Illmatic, um, Got Yourself a Gun, uh, Nas is Like, you know, Whose World Is This? The World Is Mine, The World Is Mine, Whose World Is This? The World, is, oh, there we go, The World Is Yours, The World Is Yours, that song, great song by Nas. Alright, number four is Ludacris. No one ever really puts Ludacris on their list on YouTube. I don't understand why. Because even when I was a kid, and he came out around 98, you know, Ludacris didn't start blowing up to early 2000. Used to hear him on the radio all the time. Of course, Get Back was censored because there's the F word that said it a couple of times. They didn't allow that to be said on the radio. It was blocked out, but... Yeah, Get Back and, you know, songs like Number One Spot and song I Wanna Lick You From The Head To Your Toes, I Wanna Move To The Bed, Down down To The Flow, You Make It So Good I Wanna Leave, I Wanna Know Just What Your Fantasy, I think the song's called Fantasy, and then, you know, after like the Red Light District album and Chicken and Beer, which had a lot of great songs on it, he released, uh, Release Therapy, which was also a very good album. 
runaway love had a lot of meaning to it. And, you know, Money Maker, Ultimate Satisfaction, that was a good song. Mouths to Feed, there was a lot of good songs on that album. And even Theater of the Mind, I thought, was a pretty good album. It had a lot of good songs. I like the track they did with Jay-Z and Nas. Uh, I do it for hip-hop, I believe. Really good song. But then after that, he, he started falling off. Battle of the Sex wasn't really a great album. Then he did another album after that. wasn't really that good. Ludiversal was an okay album. It had a few good songs. Grass is always greener. He went back to his original style because people were complaining and saying, you know, what happened to Ludacris? His music's whack. His music doesn't sound the same. It's different than it used to be. So then he went back to the old sound and it was a bit better. And I think he came out with another album, but I didn't listen to it at that point. I kind of lost interest. Ludacris is definitely a very influential rapper. For sure. Number five is Guru, Gangstar. And boy, when I tell you, hearing Gangstar's voice was very influential for me. Very great musical artist. Guru had a lot of good songs. Gangstar was the, the name of him officially. But, you know, it was because it was him and his man, his main man, DJ Premier. So he called himself Guru for short, or a nickname, if you will. But he had a lot of great songs, you know, Royalty, I'm the Man, um, Take Two and Pass. Uh, of course, you can't forget Moment of Truth. That song I still play to this day, even though it's a, a secular song. <coughs> that song's great. And Work. And also the song Right Where You Stand featuring Jadakiss. That's a good song too. That was off the Owner's album. Um, Mass Appeal. That was another great song by him. Yeah, so Guru I think is a great rapper. Next is Eminem. For being a white rapper and being very successful. And before him there was Vanilla Ice. You know, BC Boys. And uh, the House of Pain and Third Base. But Eminem was like a solo artist. Vanilla Ice was a solo artist too. But besides Vanilla Ice, um, you know, Eminem was really all there was. If you want to talk about solo artists being white. I mean, yeah, there was Kid Rock. But Kid Rock was not really rap. I mean, he was rap, but he wasn't, if that makes sense. He was more of a rock artist, if anything. He just had that rock rap sound to it, kind of like Rage Against the Machine and Limb Biscuit, you know. He was rock rap, or rap rock. So, if you want to just talk rap and hip-hop, Eminem came in. He was very influential, had a lot of great songs coming out, Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, a lot of great songs, you know, Who Knew, um, Stan, um, Kill You. Songs like um, Brain Damage, which was about bullying and what it was like for him growing up. Lots of great songs, you know, Rock Bottom, you know, uh, Till I Collapse, that was on the Eminem show, that was a great song too. And When I'm Gone, that's another influential song I feel. And also Mockingbird, especially with that sound, the beat and everything. That beat is so catchy, it sticks in your head. And that was on the Encore album. I think uh, a few other songs from Encore album that I thought were really good is Rain Man. And even though he cussed God in that, which I didn't like. But Rain Man was definitely a good uh, song by him. And Big Weenie, that was another one. Great song. Lots of good rhymes there. You know, rhymes that were a bit more sophisticated than most people would uh, put out at the time. Eminem had the best flow ever. Best sound for being a white artist. It doesn't matter the race though. He's talented. Number seven is DMX. DMX is a great rapper. You know, he had the dog barks in the background. 
<coughs> you know, we talked a lot about the streets and what was going on. And DMX was definitely a great artist all around. Good, uh, you know, like fight music. Good, like, you know, don't fuck with me vibes. That type of thing. <coughs> His best song is Where the Hood At. Rough Riders Anthem. Um, and, you know, songs like This Is For My Dog, D-A-W-G, and uh, Trina Mo. Um, School Street wasn't a bad song. And a song, I Miss You, where he was talking about his grandma featuring Faith Evans. Another good song. And plus he got into acting in movies. And I think he was in a few good action movies like Never Die, Die Young or something. Or Never Say Die, whatever it was called. I know he was in a crappy uh, Steven Seagal movie that wasn't really that good. Uh, excuse me, but at least it was in something. Um, so yeah, DMX is number seven. Number eight is Big L. Big L is a great rapper. Man... He, it's unfortunate that he died so young, too. Um, was shot by a drive-by shooting. But he was very influential, had a good flow, good consistency. Definitely up there with, like, Eminem. Almost neck and neck with Eminem. And being a great rapper, a great artist, good sound. But his life was cut short. I mean, he only had, like, three or four albums. And one of the albums, I believe, only had a couple of songs on it. It was unfinished. Well, yeah. And plus he had a song he did with Tupac, which was a very good sound, sounding song. Although I felt like that song should have had probably three or four verses in it. It was only like a two and a half minute song or two minute song with him and Tupac. It really needed another verse, at least one more verse, but it didn't. It was just him and Pac. Pac on the first track and him on the, or the first verse, rather, and him on the second verse. And a song he did with Lord Finesse and Jay-Z, um, The Graveyard, was also a really good song. And The Danger Zone, you know, really good song. And a song he did with Fat Joe, The Enemy, great song. All right, moving on. I want to keep this short video as short as possible. Number nine, Jay-Z, great rapper, great artist, best songs by Jay-Z, Moment of Clarity, um, Encore, the bl whole Black album was great, honestly, Blueprint album, um, Hard Not Life Part 2 and Part 1, those were both good albums by him, and I thought that Kingdom Come was a pretty good album, um, his later music, um, even the Blueprint 3, when that came out, when rap was like shit, there's so many shitty artists. The Blueprint 3 was still pretty good. Like, Run This Town was a really good song with him, Rihanna, and Kanye West. I couldn't believe it, how good it was. Uh, number 10 is uh, The Immortal Technique. The Immortal Technique's a great um, rapper, great lyricist, great artist. Can't really um, mess with Immortal Technique. Um, had some pretty complicated rhymes too, like some rhymes that I heard, like Ministry, Infantry, there was a song that he did talking about war, where he rhymed that, and he rhymed it so well, it was actually quite clever, a couple of those rhymes. Uh, you know, The Point of No Return is another great song by him, and there's no denying that song, Dance with the Devil, that song had like the best beat ever, like mind-blowing, like whoa like that beat is freaking sick like nice and it just it sticks in your head you know so that's why i think he's a great uh peruvian rapper number 11 is uh exhibit i think exhibit's a good rapper um man versus machine was a good album maybe not every single song on it was great but he was still a pretty good rapper um so i gotta put exhibit up there um Paparazzi is definitely one of his best songs. I also like that song, um, Call It What You Wanna Call It. I'm an alcoholic. Drinking if you really want it. Ain't gotta put no extras on it. Alcoholic, I believe, featuring the likes. L-I-K-S. Yeah, they're pretty good. Both of them. 
Uh, number 12, I would put Mac Lethal up there. I think Mac Lethal is a good rapper that not too many people talk about. He's also Caucasian, but he's pretty good. Um, he can rap fast and he can rap slow. Um, he has a couple of albums. I don't think they're on the same level as Eminem as far as like selling, but I still think that he's a pretty good artist and he's worth mentioning for a white MC. Um, I mean, he got his start on YouTube. It wasn't like Eminem where he was trying to find his stomping grounds and find a, um, a way to get out there and get known. It wasn't until like Dr. Dre produced them that he started really taking off. Mac Lethal started on YouTube and that's how he gained his popularity with his music. That song he did with Tech 9 was pretty fire. Uh, the Watchmaker Theory, that's a great song by him. Till the, Till the Casket Drops is a great song. Die Slow was a great song by him. And also Calm Down Baby, which is a very influential song by him. Very good song. And even those songs were, you can't really, like, you know, purchase it. Uh, like the greatest pizza order ever. You can still listen to it on YouTube and just know that, wow, like that's talent right there. And he roasts the hell out of Dirtbag Dan. Like he destroyed Dirtbag Dan. He's another white MC. I don't think Dirtbag Dan really uh, makes albums. I could be wrong, but, uh, you know, he, he roasted that guy. Um,. Check it out if you don't believe me. It's on YouTube. Just type in Mac Lethal versus Dirtbag Dan. And you can see it. It's like a 10 minute video. Um, number 13 is. It's got to be the Wu-Tang Clan. I mean even though they're a quote unquote rap group. That rap group is so influential. Like there is no denying that. Their impact on rap music is strong. And just so many good songs by them. Protect Your Neck. Um. Um, Cream, you know, uh, the song I did with Snoop Dogg, you know, Gravel Pit. Oh, the, the song by with Snoop Dogg is called Conditioners. Yeah, there's a lot of great uh, songs by them. Not much, many of their songs I can say I don't like. You know, they're very influential. And they did a song with Logic a couple years back, and it was fire as well. It had every member in it except for the two that died. Like Old Dirty Bastard obviously wasn't in the song. And it had one other rapper that died from the group because he was shot. But everybody else, you know, because I think there was seven or eight members from Wu-Tang Clan was in that song. So that's why that song was like, I think, 12 minutes long because Logic spit his like two or three minute verse. And then after that, it went to Chorus and then to them, H1 took their turn rapping so that makes sense why the song was so long but it was a good song number 14 is mob deep i think mob deep is also a very influential rap group i think they were slightly more influential than beastie boys and the tribe called quest and even public enemy because mob deep really stood out havoc and prodigy are great rappers and it's a shame that havoc's the only one that's still alive Prodigy is gone, as we know, he died a couple years ago. But uh, he will be remembered because of their le legacy and their good music. Um, highlight songs by them, in my opinion, is Hell on Earth, Front Lines, which was in parentheses. Uh, you know, the whole the whole Hell on Earth album, really. That whole album was dope. Um... America's Nightmare had a couple of good songs. Flood the Block. Um, the, the song um, Got It Twisted. <clears throat> and even the remix with Twista on it was a good one. <clears throat> and off their Infamy album, I think Getaway was a good song by them. And I think the... Um, this song, I Won't Fall, was also a good song. So those are just a couple of songs I can name right there that are excellent. And number 15 for me is Atmosphere. Atmosphere is a great rapper. I mean, he's another white MC, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the color, really. It's about what you can bring to the table, what you're actually able to say. And he was very creative. 
had a song, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if it was supposed to talk about the actual board game. Because to me, that, that board game is satanic. Dungeons and Dragons is evil, but... <clears throat> excuse me, that may not be the meaning behind this song. It might have meant something entirely different, but I don't really know. I just know it's a good song. And, uh, you know... Um, uh, Dear Wolf was another good song by him. Um, he did a song that was featured on Fight Night um, Round 3, I believe, for Xbox 360 and PS3, that boxing game. That was a pretty good song. Sunshine was a pretty good song. The guy's got a lot of good songs, you know. I used to... I think he did like a little bit of rapping with this other white rapper named Idea. And Idea, unfortunately, died... He's no longer with us. Rest in peace. But uh, Atmosphere... I haven't seen Atmosphere come out with anything in the past several years. But from what I heard of him, a lot of his music was pretty good. And a lot of good storytelling and stuff. Just a really great artist. Honorable mentions for rappers. Obviously Snoop Dogg. Influential as hell. Um, very good artist. Uh... Maybe not so good now, because he started making dumb decisions and featuring the wrong people to become famous. Earl Sweatshirt, uh, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, uh, Meek Mills. I think that uh, I think that Tolkien is a pretty good rapper. Um, I know he's white, but it doesn't really matter. He's, he's awesome. He's a good uh, modern day rapper. I think that uh, Joey Badass has some good songs. I don't think he's legendary. I don't like every song that he's done. But I, I do like a, a handful of his songs. Probably about five or six or seven of his songs. So he's decent. Um, I think that uh, Vince Staples is a decent rapper. I think that Jadakiss is a decent rapper. Jadakiss had the sickest flow ever. And his rhyme skills is not too bad. Really isn't too bad. Little Wayne's a was a good rapper starting out, but not really that great anymore. But you go back to his old music and it's still pretty good. Um who else would I say? I don't understand the hate with vanilla ice. Because I listen to vanilla ice and I still think that some of the songs I heard here by them are actually pretty catchy. But I don't I know. Uh, the hate behind Vanilla Ice because he lied about a lot of stuff. So he can't really be taken that seriously. Um, BC Boys, obviously, A Tribe Called Quest, 3 Six Mafia, all great rappers, rap groups, rather. Uh, Lords of the Underground, you know, Ice Cube. Ice Cube is dope. Especially the song No Vaseline. And a song, um, it was a good day. Today was a good day, rather. And even that song that goes, Ride to the hood, keep it low to the bridge. Ride to the hood, ride to the hood. Ride to the hood, keep it low to the bridge. Low to the bridge, low to the bridge. See my low, low, doing what it's supposed to do. I think it's called Doing What I'm Supposed to Do. I think that's the name of the song. That's a dope song by Ice Cube. That's not an old song from like the 80s or 90s. That came out in 2006, but it was pretty dope. <coughs> and the song Go to Church with Snoop Dogg and Little John. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so those are some of the artists that I consider dope for rappers. Uh, Anthony Chobot, please respond to me, man. Hopefully, you do a top 10. Or, I mean, a top 15 best rappers list, or they'll do a top 15 PS2 list next, man. Because I'm, I'm calling you out, man. I want you to do at least one more top 15 list, man. I'm doing all these top 15 lists, and you're not really responding to me, man. Come on. Maybe Tech 2D Gamer could also do a top 15 list. That would be nice to see what his opinion is on the rap music. Especially when he's mainly about the gaming videos. Or maybe he could do a top 15 best PS2 games or N64 games or whatever. 
But anyways, yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, Larry the Batman fan signing off. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Peace.